Hello, Assalamu alaikum, dear audience, viewers, listeners, home and abroad. I like to talk about Rupali Ilsha, about Hilsha Feast. Hilsha Shad or Rupali Ilish is the most popular fish of the region and the national fish of Bangladesh. It is regarded as Rupali Ilish in Bangladesh and at most popular has been has been popular fish of the world. Very recently, August 2017, after Jamdani Shari, Hilsha fish also has been declared as the second geographical indication product of Bangladesh. Official, the officers of the Department of Patent, Design and Trademarks, PDPDT, said they have completed registration process of Hilsha fish as a geographical indication product of Bangladesh and handed over the certificate to the Department of Fisheries Government People's Republic of Bangladesh recently. Bangladesh is producing a major chunk of Hilsha in the world due to the good management practice the Hilsha shed uh, Hilsha fish production is increasing day by day in Bangladesh while it is declining in other countries of the world. The Hilsha fishes Hilsha fisheries plays a critical role in the generation of employment in Bangladesh. Uh, in Asia also, in 2012, Hilsha generated employment and income of millions of people in Bangladesh, India and Myanmar. The fishery is also uh, nearly $2 billion. In Bangladesh, over 5 lakh fishermen are involved in the Hilsha fisheries and over 2 lakh people are involved in the market chain and other related activities. In this uh, discussion, um, I will give you some other information important information about the Hilsha fish, Hilsha fish and I think it will be helpful for you to know the uh, exact scenario of Hilsha fish. About 65 to 70 percent of world total production of Hilsha fish is in Bangladesh while India produces only 10 to 15 percent, Myanmar only 10 percent and the rest of the countries uh, around Arab Sea, Pacific Sea and Atlantic Ocean produce only rest 10 percent by the end of the 2000 fiscal year of 2016-17 um, the uh, expected authorities they expected that uh, the hilsha will cross 5 lakh metric ton production in bangladesh and that was succeeded uh, then uh, the species of hilsha fish let me discuss about it hilsha fish was first noted um, as Clufandon Genesis by earlier uh, taxonomist. It was, it was misled by other genera of river uh, herring of the family Clupedia. This is, <coughs> uh, but Hilsha fish is known to Bangladesh as Ilishmas or Hilsha. Ilish or Hilsha is globally known name. As English language, it is called Hilsha Shad or Hilsha Fish. In French language, Alose Hilsha. And in Myanmar, they produce 10% of Hilsha total production. They called it uh, Gata Luk Nagatala. In India, the Hilsha is also called Coca Ilish. And in Sri Lanka, its name is Ullam. In Pakistan, Palla Palo. Pullua. And such way the Hilsha is named in many names in many countries, but it is very important fish for our country, Bangladesh. Hilsha is like all Bangladesh is Bangla speaking people, Bangla speaking population of the world. There are historical accounts of the Bengali Hilsha feast in the British Indian records that in 18th century. Recently, Hilsha is what the Bangla is geographically indexed Bangladeshi Ilish. Mm. It is known the famous uh, story about the Hilsha fish that um, Muslim invaders, uh, Muslim ruler of Delhi Sultanate, Muhammad bin Tughluq, died in 1351 on his way to Thatta to sin. Uh, he overeat, it is called that he overeat Hilsha fish in the night before he died. The British uh, invaded Bang uh, the subcontinent and the rule here, colonial rule established. They developed a curry of Hilsha fish. It is called smoked fish curries recipe. That is became very popular in our country and also many other uh, countries. 
many traditional hilsha recipes are available in our different different taste blend and and it is a uh, hilsha master dim or hilsha ilish or smoked fish ilish birani uh, shorshi ilish that's why also hilsha is plays an important role for the foreign relation of bangladesh with india prime minister of bangladesh uh, sheikh hasina uh, um, sheikh hasina um, <coughs> Uh, uh, recently, recently in 2016, for us, Prime Minister of Bangladesh was bargaining for the uh, transboundary uh, of water with the Indian by by our Prime Minister, Prime Minister, uh, the daughter of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the successful Prime Minister of Bangladesh, um, he uh, ba started bargaining for the transboundary water with India by lifting a ban on hilsha export. The fish has been uh, import, uh, important uh, to offer hillshire diplomacy between the two countries. Any positive ecological flow for the Gongas in future could improve the production of hillshire in this Bay of Bengal. This will ultimately help in meet the demand of the fish in future for Bangladesh Indian Myanmar as well. Hillshire fish is also playing an important role in our cultural life. Nowadays, uh, the Fahila Boishak, the first day of Bangla year celebration, New Year celebration is not uh, imagined without the Hillshire fish and the Pantabad. So, um, Hillshire fish um, uh, uh, as a whole, Hillshire fish is our national fish. It is an important, it is playing an important role in our economy. Uh, it is also playing an important role for our diplomacy. Uh, it is a tasty uh, species, uh, tasty fish, and uh, for for us also, uh, it is a cultural good cultural indication for our country. Uh, also, Bangladesh between Bangladesh and India, I mean West Bengal, uh, it is regarded as ambassador fish for this reason by many writers and uh, explainers, many experts. So the the socio-economic status of hilta fishes fish hilta. Hilsha fishers can be regarded as disadvantage related to education, health, sanitary facilities, banking, housing. The people who catch fish, they are not getting so much facilities. They are not getting the uh, exact money and their um, money of their labor. Uh, so we should look after them to uh, to increase this hilda fish industry. Thank you very much.